Hi, happy Friday. We are continuing our program of Foundation Friday, where we look at some of the foundation teachings by many wonderful Unity ministers and our Unity Foundation teachers. Today, we're looking at this book. It's called Getting Through the Hard Times. I have to admit, I picked this one up because I really liked the title. This book is a accumulation of many different ministers from the unity movement through many different years. It contains several stories of hardship and victory over the hardships. There's a few of them that I would like to share with you. The very first one is called Spirit is Always Speaking. And this was written by the Reverend Leslie Miller. This is a wonderful story about a woman who found out her cancer had spread and she had to have a mastectomy instead of the lesser surgery she had planned on. She found herself going to a party and not knowing many people there, she sat down with a perfect stranger and found herself telling the whole story to her. Well, as God would have it, the woman she talked to had gone through the very same thing. And she shared with Reverend Miller what she had learned and what had helped her most. And her sharing was the book the Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. She shared with the woman that it was her own negativity that weighed her down and kept her stuck. But by using the power of positive thinking, she was able not only to survive the cancer in the situation, but to strive and to actually feel better than she had ever felt before. It's a charming story. The next one I wanna share is written by Reverend Ed Townley. It's called, It's a Quiet Thing. And in this story, Reverend Townley shares his own story of alcoholism and finding recovery, going to meetings, still feeling like he was stuck, only now he didn't have alcohol to help him cope. He was afraid that his whole life was going to be work and meetings and work and meetings without joy. Finally, in desperation, Reverend Townley hit his knees and prayed. And his prayer to God was, I give up. The pain and loneliness are unbearable. If there is indeed a higher power out there, I need help. Reverend Townley shares with us the feeling that overcame him, the knowing that life would be better, that he was not alone, that God is real in us, through us, and all around us. The next story I'd like to share with you is called let the hard times roll. And this was written by Reverend Michael Corpan. This is a wonderful story about a young man who grew up poor. When he was very young, he was involved in the Catholic Church and he refused to take communion because he didn't want to kneel in front of the church and have everyone see that his shoes had no soles on his feet. He believed that he would never have enough, that he would never be enough. And then in prayer, he found he could affirm his own adequacy by affirming that he was enough, that he had enough, that he was good enough. He was able to change his outlook and his circumstance. It's a wonderful story about how we can raise ourselves up by affirming our very best. The next one is called Faith in the Children of God. This story was written by Reverend Elsie Cohen. 
She shares the story of how a tornado ravaged her home, took everything that she had. And when she saw it, she was in despair. She just couldn't imagine life being worth living. Everything she had, everything she had done was gone. However, her eyes were open and all around her, People from every religion, every color were working together to salvage what they could in the tornado. In this awareness, she realized, hmm, it's not about the things we have. It's about the people around us. It's about the spirit that we carry. It's about the community and the love that we have that we give and that we share. These are just a few of the stories I found in this little booklet, Getting Through the Hard Times. It's a wonderful booklet and I hope that you'll pick it up and I hope that you will continue to explore with us the foundations of unity. My name again is Linda Burdett. I hope that you have found inspiration in this video and you will share it with anyone you know who could use the same inspiration. Join us tomorrow for something completely different. God bless you. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook. Search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.